Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 8, Leçon L. And in this lesson we'll discover together le plus que parfait. So it's uh, quite interesting, not that difficult and quite useful. So let's see what le plus que parfait is. So first in this video, as usual for the tenses, because it's a past tense, we'll first discover together or see together l'utilisation. So when should we use le plus que parfait? And then how do we make, construct, build this tense? Okay, the first thing, utilisation. When do we use le plus que parfait? Important. If you want to, well, should I, yeah, I will read that the French way first, okay? Exprimer des faits qui se sont passés avant d'autres faits passés. Oh my God, it can be quite tricky. It's not really tricky. Let's say that if you want to resume or if you want to say it fast, le plus que parfait is the past in the past. Okay, so let's see. Now you've got the timeline here. Let's see, first, second, and third thing. The first one could be le présent. So we are here right now. Okay. Then this is the past. So if you want to express something that happened in the past, whether you use le passé composé or we saw that previously l'imparfait. Okay. And then you've got here le plus que parfait. Okay, so first, if you want to talk about what happened yesterday or then even years ago, you will have to use whether passé composé or imparfait. Okay, but then if you want to make a relation to something that happened previously, you should definitely use this plus que parfait form. Okay, so that's the reason why we tend to say that it's the past in the past. All right, so let's have an example. Ce matin, j'ai mangé le gâteau que tu avais préparé hier. Okay, if we have a look, we've got two verbs in this sentence. This is the first one, j'ai mangé. It is the passé composé form. This is the second one, tu avais Préparé. This is le plus que parfait. Ok. Passé composé. Plus que parfait. So what do you want to say here? You want to say, ce matin, this morning, j'ai mangé, mangé is to eat, le gâteau, the cake, que, that, tu avais préparé, préparé to prepare, yesterday, hier. Ok. So you want to say that ce matin, J'ai mangé le gâteau. Okay, so it happened in the morning, this morning, and then yesterday you had prepared this cake. Okay, so that's the reason why in the second part of the sentence you use le plus que parfait because this action happened before. All right, so it was the past in the past. Okay, so let's see now how to construct it. And it's not that difficult because first, if you have a look, so I did put some uh, regular verbs here. First one, je mangeais au restaurant. So this form here is the imparfait. Okay, so why did I put the imparfait? Just for you to have a look at the ending of this verb. This is avoir. Okay, so you can see that they end actually the same way, R-E-S, R-E-S, okay? And then if you have a look here, you've got manger, manger, so you can notice that this is the participe passé form of the verb manger, manger is to eat, okay? So first you've got avoir, then you've got the participe passé, okay? Maybe it rings a bell for you. Uh, second example, tu regardais la télévision, okay? Tu avais regardé la télévision. So if you have a look, well, it looks the same. You've got first avoir, then you've got participe passé here. Okay, and then 
So I took this verb aller, aller is to go, and remember when we've got these composed tenses, it's a bit tricky because it doesn't use avoir as most of the verbs, but it uses être, and look, here it's the same. Il était allé. So it does use être here, and then we've got the participle passé form. All right? So the rule is that if you want to construct this plus que parfait form, then you should use first avoir at the imparfait, then the participle passé, and you will get your plus que parfait form. Okay? In some cases, you will use être at the imparfait form, then the participle passé, and you will get le plus que parfait. Okay? We've been covering already few composed tenses in French, and, well, it, it does follow exactly the same rules. Okay? So that's the reason why it will be quite familiar for you, because the following verbs, aller, to go, arriver, to arrive, descendre, to go down, devenir, to become, entrer, to enter, to come in, monter, to go up, mourir, to die, naître, to born, partir, to leave, rester, to stay, retourner, to return, sortir, to go out, tomber, to fell, to fall, sorry, and then venir, to come, so all these verbs will use être. As, I mean, they do for all the other composed tense that we saw, uh, like passé composé, for instance. Okay? And then all the verbes réfléchis, so reflexive verbs, like se regarder, s'appeler, se présenter. So all these verbs will also require être, okay, for the plus que parfait. Okay? So let's see one more time the imparfait form of avoir and être as well, but we'll start with avoir, just because that's the form, I mean, these are the forms that you will have to use when you want to construct this plus que parfait. So it goes like, j'avais, tu avais, il avait, elle avait, nous avions, vous aviez, ils avaient, elles avaient. Okay, and then for être, j'étais, tu étais, il était, elle était, nous étions, vous étiez, ils étaient, elles étaient. All right, so you can see here that we've got this A-I-S ending and A-I-T ending. You pronounce them the same way, okay? J'avais, tu avais, il avait. And then you saw probably that we've got also here A-V-A-I-E-N-T, but then you pronounce it avait. So the same way as we pronounce here, okay? J'avais, tu avais, il avait. Nous avions, vous aviez, ils avaient. Okay? The only difference is that you will have to make the liaison between the two. Elles avaient, ils avaient. Okay? Same thing here. Était, était, était. And the last one, était. So you pronounce them the same way. J'étais, tu étais, il était, elle était. Nous étions, vous étiez, ils étaient, elles étaient. All right? So, remember that for these participe passé form, so the second part that you should have, okay? Um, when we're talking about uh, verbs, so in French we've got three groups, okay? The first one is the er verbs, so verbs ending with er, only one exception, and it's aller, but then the good news is, is that aller will behave the same way, so it won't be tricky. So remember that when you've got a verb like parler, for instance, here, Parler is to talk or to speak. It ends with a er, okay? You will take this a er away and you will replace it with a accent aigu, parler. Same thing, regarder, to watch. You take this a er away and you put this e here. Aller, even if it doesn't belong to the first group, it will behave the same way, so that's a good news. Aller, a er, you take it away and then you put this a, okay? Second group of verbs, er, unfortunately for you, not all the er verbs, okay? But then these are from the second group, choisir to choose. You take this er away 
and then you change it, you put I instead, choisi. Finir, to finish, to end, ir away, same rule, and then you put fini. Unir, ir, you take it away, to unite, and then you get uni. Okay, after that, when we talk about the third group, it's quite tricky, and my advice would be to try to learn them by heart, like in many languages, but still, we have some subgroups. Okay, so you've got a list here. So, the one that will end with u, for instance, connaître, to know, être will become u, connu, all right, voir, to see, voir will become u, vu, partir. Well, in that case, they will have this E. Even if it ends with ER, uh, it's not from the second group, it's from the third group. Okay, so, but then it becomes parti. Okay, so quite easy. Rire will become ri. Okay, partir to leave and then rire to laugh. IT, like écrire to write. IRE will become IT here. Dire to say. I-R-E will become IT. Okay, remember, you put this T, you don't pronounce it. Écrit, dit. All right? And then the last subgroup here, or I think it's the last, I'm not sure about that anymore. <laughs> Mettre, E-T-T-R-E -E will become I-S. Mi, same advice here, don't pronounce the final S like we had here. T is not pronounced, S is not pronounced. Mi, uh, mettre to put. And then prendre, Prendre is to take, okay, E-N-D-R-E, -E, and it will become E-S, pris, all right? An example for parler, so parler will go like that for the plus que parfait. J'avais parlé, tu avais parlé, il avait parlé, elle avait parlé, nous avions parlé, vous aviez parlé, ils avaient parlé, elles avaient parlé. Okay, so if you look carefully, I did put this E uh, in orange just to show you that when you construct, I mean, a normal structure or simple structure like subject, verb, okay, nothing in between, then if you have avoir, you don't put anything at the end. So you don't need to add this E for the feminine or S for the plural, just keep your participe passé like that if you constructed with avoir. But, have a look here. Aller, you write it like that, aller. This is the masculine singular form, so basic form. Feminine singular form, you will have to add this a uh, for the feminine. Masculine plural form, you will have to add this s for the plural. And then here, feminine plural form, you will have to add this E, uh, S, so E uh for the feminine and S for the plural. The good news is that phonetically they go the same way, aller, 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 all right? But if you want to write correctly, remember to put E uh for the feminine, S for the plural, and obviously E, uh, S for the feminine plural. Okay, so let's see, aller now. J'étais allé. Tu étais allé. Il était allé. Elle était allée. Nous étions allés. Vous étiez allés. Ils étaient allés. Elles étaient allées. All right, so you can hear that. Here, for instance, I make here a liaison. Ils étaient, and then here I make a liaison as well. Ils étaient allés. Elles étaient allées. All right, and then remember, aller, 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 and then aller. So the same phonetical form, okay? If you want to construct this plus que parfait, so I took this example with a verbe réfléchi, okay? Je m'étais présenté, tu t'étais présenté, il s'était présenté, elle s'était présentée, nous nous étions présentés, Vous vous étiez présenté, il s'était présenté, elle s'était présentée. All right, so remember, all these reflexive verbs, so les verbes réfléchis, will require all the time être, okay? Remember, avoir at the imparfait form, and then participe passé, and you will get a beautiful plus que parfait, and in some cases, 
être à the imparfait form plus participe passé will give you another beautiful plus que parfait. That was, that was it for the plus que parfait. Uh, if you want more videos, then youtube.com slash imagier and then the website is here, imagier.net. Have a great day. Bye bye.